Cats and dogs getting along. Kind of. Uh, uh, oh. Up kind of early today. With the sun. Sunrise today, 8.37. Sunset, 8.02. Uh, the length of day diminishing by about two minutes a day now. Alto cumulus clouds. There is some dew in the grass with the dew point in the 60s. It's pretty comfortable outside. A couple of sprinkles on radar. You can make out uh, a little bit of rain trying to fall out of the cloud there. That's uh, way out over Worcester. Alto cumulus, slight chance of an afternoon shower or a thunderstorm today. Wind is out of the southwest. Nice breeze, but it's a hot one with temperature low 90s. The dew point should hold in the 60s. Let's look at the weather map. So, uh, yeah, there's several fronts, but there's just not a lot of focus of the energy and not a deep layer of moisture. So not enough lift. There's instability, so where it does rain, it could pour pretty good. Lifted index to minus four in Boston. Tomorrow, a little high pressure system. It's gonna be cooler, especially near the shore. The temperature about 80 tomorrow. Thursday's still looking like the hot one, but not as hot as the guidance had of 100 degrees. It's now looking more like 96 or 7 degrees. <laughs> Oh, it's so pleasant out right now. I'm working on Cape Cod today, so I get up really early. It's gonna be trying to do a quick one. And once again, something has grabbed a tomato. We've gotten a little bite of food, a little bit of a drink of water out of there, and one less tomato for Tim. <laughs> Gotta grow enough for the animals. Father always said that. Happy birthday to brother, Ed Kelly, on Cape Cod, hopefully having a day off today. The next warm front comes in Thursday morning and Thursday for the temperature in the mid 90s. The dew point may actually come down a little bit with a breeze during the middle of the day and some mixing. So the dew point will be near 70, maybe fall into the 60s, very muggy night. And it looks like we are going to have a heat wave. You know, I mentioned yesterday that maybe the, the coast would cool off enough that it wouldn't be a heat wave in Boston. And the guidance that Euro with the uncertainty actually showed a temperature of 76 in Boston on Saturday, which was not really believable. It was at the lower end of that uh, red shaded area, and now it's back up into the 90s. So heat wave is happening in New England, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe into Monday. And not expecting anything in there. NAM prints out point one for Boston today. We'll see about that. Rescue Garden's doing okay. Okay, come on, little hydrangea, you can make it. And as for the compost pile, that zucchini had no bites out of it last night. This was half a squash, and there was a half of a, a beefsteak tomato here. Just get me. I don't know whether it's rats or chipmunks. Uh, it's probably a rat, right? <laughs> don't tell anybody. I think... Who doesn't have rats? But as long as they're way out in the backyard and not near the kitchen, that's pretty good. I know, I know. All right, so, yeah, I'm going to go do some tree work today on Cape Cod. That'll be the and more part tomorrow. That should be interesting. And so I'll just leave you with a quick uh, note on, well, we, the Blue Hill Observatory. Got to talk about that. Fundraiser next uh, Wednesday. Harvey Leonard and I will be there. Please go to the website. And when you go to the website, you're going to find data on the climate and 75.3 was the mean temperature in July, the hottest month on record, not only the hottest July, the hottest month on record in Blue Hill, and that goes back to 1885, 84, and also precipitation deficit of nine inches, so about 21 inches of rain so far this year with the average near 31, and that's why the animals are doing whatever they can to get moisture, and the humans. All right, sunset yesterday, 8.01, last sunset of eight o'clock is uh, Thursday, I think, this is what it looked like yesterday. See you later. Right on schedule. The sun goes below the cloud. Queuing up another gorgeous sunset. Garden's been getting hacked by varmints. Steve, don't let them eat more any more of these beefsteak tomatoes. <laughs> we've lost so many of them already. But we've had a few in our tummy too. Steve, what do you see down there? 8.01 p.m. 
probably the last of the eight o'clock sunsets, I guess. So Red Sox are on the road and we have music at Fenway Park this week. Weather looks pretty good. Thursday could be a tad toasty though.